Wow, that's what we did at IFC? Okay. Oh man, you didn't get that. I don't see anything that makes it so this panel can't happen. Read it. It was a dark and stormy night and we were getting wet. Real wet. It was a real hassle, but we disposed of all the evidence. No, officer, I didn't see him, they said, coughing up a collar. They may have went into that bathroom, but I definitely wouldn't go in there. The suspicious cops walked to the bathroom and a loud explosion came from the bathroom. No joke, people actually started submitting drawings and that was my ASCII art version of a smiley face. Then there was a cop and then there was another arrow with like the hat on the cop going, Oh no! <laughs> the explosion launched teeny weenies everywhere. The cop that screamed ended up with a mouthful. The door of the stall behind him creaked open slowly. How do they taste? The cop projectile vomited all over the stall, the vomit landing on the top half of the ferret sitting there. The tall ferret blinked and shook the remnants from his hat. Ah, the best birthday yet. The moral of the story, everyone knows cops don't swallow. <laughs> so, remember don't rattle the paddle? <laughs> so, how did you get the word vomit? If you misspell it, it's canon, and he gets voted on as, as the, the audience choice that becomes part of the story, it's now canon to the story. If you put in ten semicolons, there are ten you semicolons in the story. <coughs> oh. Were you listed as a panelist for this? I was. Oh. Yeah. Center is a good recap story. I'm going to run around and collect answers to make sure that that's... Perfect. Yeah. Oh, make the first suitor read. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So, uh, the first line is a dark and stormy night. Who would like to... Let's let's do it by... There's enough people here. Like, either do it in half or in thirds. Let's do... This group. So, you three... You and you, so we'll have five here, and then we'll have the other group be five. Oh wait, one of you, I think that'll work. It's like four and five, because someone there will. This group, and then the rest of you will be round two. So this round, this group's going to write the next line, and then the next round, the rest of them will write an answer. Make sense? So you and, all right. When you have an answer, I'll throw it in my box, and I'll read them off. So, you, know, you each write an answer, and then we're going to vote on the one we like best. We are doing community story building. So, for this story, it started with, it was a dark and stormy night, and the next line was, and we were getting wet, dot, 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 real wet, dot, dot. Actually, those might have been two separate answers. Mm. No, it was one answer. That was one that answer. Was definitely one answer. And then the next sentence was, it was a real hassle, but we disposed of all the evidence. There were four other things we were voting on. The sentence, it was a real hassle, but we disposed of all the evidence, won. So right now, we begin with, it was a dark and stormy night. We gonna have some fun. Are you gonna write some? <coughs> you should do it. Do it. You can do it in pictographs, and I'll try and ask you art it while cursing your existence. <laughs> Iggy, I'm shocked you don't have a coffee cup. I lost it at the last panel because it was destroyed. Uh huh. Wow. How did improv? How did the improv workshop go? It went really well. Did you um, get people up there like working on stuff? Yep. Um, a little bit. We we had more like games of participation at the first squared one, but it was a smaller group, and everyone wanted to hey, get involved. Yeah. And um, this one we did a little bit more kind of talking and explaining, and we, we did, I think everyone that everyone got a chance to do as many games as they wanted to, but we didn't do as much as we got through in an hour at uh, square first squared. I suppose I should, like, join you rip, rip, rip it. one of these Literally improv rip. panels, considering I do it. I've never done an improv workshop. It was really fun. I, I like it. It sounds it, it fun. Lets you, it lets you practice in a more comfortable fun. environment than feeling like, like it's totally okay to go in that and just bomb all the time. That's kind of why I want to do it. Like, it, you know, I bomb all the time on the real stage. It would be nice to, <laughs> to not bomb feel bad somewhere about you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I keep seeing people with Wendy's. I have not had Wendy's french fries yet. I had a Baconator for the first time ever. How do you good. feel? Um, I mean, I survived last night. I want a Frosty. I, want, I haven't had a Frosty. Did you know if you put a Frosty, like, after you've had it for a while, in the freezer, it's really gross? Yeah. Probably, it separates. Yeah. It makes this weird crystalline structure. Yep. That's, yeah, it's weird. All right, sir. Frosties are good. 
here are our answers. So it was a dark and stormy night, and here are our answers. Sir. It was a dark and stormy night. Stormy night. I found... Oh my god. I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right. If we haven't said already, you really have to try to have legend handwriting. handwriting. Yeah, handwriting. try again. Do not write with a crayon with your off hand, please. But it's fun. Yeah. Are you still using a crayon? I figured out one. Gotcha. So it was a dark and stormy night when the staff of Fur Reality found something. Awfully. That's it. That's it. Alright. On um, Dark and Stormy Night, I found a room with a window no one remembered to shut. And the last one is it was Dark and Stormy Night, and it uh, it was Dark and Stormy Night. It was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere. Where is the thing, you know? Um, Alright. You know what else so, is the thing? Writing bigger. Yeah, raise your hand if you like the one that Sarathin read. Uh, raise your hand if you wanted a window with no one remember to shut. Blood was everywhere. All right. <laughs> Pass that my way. Yep. Yeah. Good, good luck transcribing that. <laughs> yeah, I All know. Right. My writing so everyone that didn't get a chance to write on the last one, write on this one. So the rest of the room. Yes. Oh, don't write in all caps. I write in all caps. It, it kind of is all in all caps. Oh. Okay, fine. Feel free to read once he's finished writing. Read off the story so that they know what's up. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so the story so far, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. It was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere! I thought that was Next. a question mark. No, it was an expl exp it was an explanation for exclamation point. I am the scribe, and I have thus interpreted. Scribe has spoken. Exclamation point. Now don't help them. Let them struggle. No, if you ask an honest question, I'll give you an answer. But right answers cost more than wrong answers. Wait, wait, wait! wait. We're paying for answers now. No. I'll take your money. No, that's not what I said. That's not how you're twisting my words. That's not how this works. That's not how anything works. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a war. How about that movie last night? I'm not even sure what about movie? the movie. It was a hodgepodge. What movie? The MST3K movie. Oh. It basically was a bunch of advertisements and old film. Advertising for old movies. It took perhaps forever to find all of that. That was amazing. That was a lot oh, of fun. Oh, was the side hey, drive what? at Disney World? Uh -oh. I don't know if I spelled the word right. Oh well. Uh -oh. Um. So it was dark and stormy night. It was, it was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere. Let me do this one. one you like, by the way. Leave it to me, like always. I forgot my umbrella. And the sewer vampire was happy? Very happy! Exclamation. <laughs> <laughs> the ritual had gone awry. Quoted the raven. <laughs> <laughs> and things were feasting in the dark. Bits of poodles here and no signs of spot remain. Remover. Remover. Oh, he cut it. Bits of, bits, of, bits, bits of poodles here and no signs of spot remover. <laughs> right. So, hopefully, you remember the one you like. I'm going to recap them real quick. Raise your hand if you like them. Um, bits of poodles, no signs of spot remover. Got one. Got one. Um, 
And things were feasting in the dark? Nope. Okay, that one's out. Uh, Sewer Vampire was happy, very happy. Okay, you got a winner. Alright, so the group that went in the first round, you get to go again. You need to pay the you want to join in. The incinerator. Yep, this this group's turned to right. Tickles me that this town is essentially just my life all the time. <laughs> the sewer vampires? Yeah, sewer vampires. No, writing just random words and trying to get them to come together. <laughs> also, sewer vampires. <laughs> hey, Iggy. Yeah. What are you doing? If you have one, you're more than welcome to. I'm spamming you. You sure are. I really should just keep a stash of note cards at this point. Oh, I have a stash of note cards. This is more fun. Uh, who likes tearing things? Ooh, wow. wow. That, that was just a very flat, disdainful... No. Be prepared. There was a con where I ran this. I don't think Iggy, you were at it. I think it was at BLFC. I was threatened with bodily harm if I did not return the exact amount of pens I took for this panel. So, it was dark and stormy night. It was literally raining Captain Dogs! Blood was everywhere! And the sewer vampire was happy. Very happy! <laughs> Next, it was raining baby silicons. Huh. Smiley face. All right, then. What's up with your face? Asked a rat to the sewer vampire. Unfortunately for the rat, they happened to be the vampire version of Capri Sun. <laughs> 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 The Ninja Turtles sensed the injustice and sprang into action. Or the sewer vegetarians, however, were not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Darkness before? No. Oh, that's surprising. Why? Because uh, when you play World of Darkness Vampire, Back essentially uh, you get to yeah, it's like Capri Suns. What? Because they're they're worth like one blood point, so they're not very like sustainable, but they're good for a quick pick me up. And so, <laughs> like, especially our group would call them Capri Suns because you just bite them, drink them, and then you're done. Yes, welcome. <laughs> We're writing a story with the audience. This is, looks like an awesome story already. What did I do? I didn't do it. I swear. No, you're good. As long as you're not on the floor, you're good. Even this shirt got wet. All of everything I'm wearing got wet in that last one. Of course they did. It was alcohol. What did you expect? I would, I would be disappointed if you weren't wet because of it. Uh-oh. Seraphin, do you have one? I might. <laughs> That's if we manage to get it on paper. <laughs> right, 
also right on top of that. Hey, Iggy, if you want it. Who's on Discord? Oh, that's what that noise is. That ain't me. I'm here. That's two. No, oh, wait. It's the two of us, sorry. And Are you guys Discording each other? No. We're Discording. Quit being nerds! <laughs> We're Discording somebody in the United Kingdom who wasn't wanting to start to take part. Yeah, he's a. Uh, oh, so he's actually sending in lines. If they're sending in answers, I want them. <laughs> yes! No, he is not. This will be our first international edition. <laughs> hey, this the con's theme is New Horizons. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the internet yeah, is a brand new horizon. You can gamble your life savings away on the internet. More than once. At least three times. What are you doing to my mouse? It's my mouse. Oh, it's, it's your mouse. Never mind. I'm fiddling its wheel. Is that so my I? mouse? <laughs> Should Sarah he leave the room? Writing. The funniest thing is I actually picked no, up that whole free no, no, no. thing. I'm an exhibitionist. Why are you playing with my mouse? Because it's there. It was basically a Tumblr post that was like, to vampires. Your mouse feels nice. <laughs> to vampires. I know, that's why I Rats are pretty much you were free the one that told me to do ergonomic mice, what the and fuck I said, does that mean? <laughs> I would still do an ergonomic mouse over there. I feel like I should, I should be playing porn music. Thank you, Graham. Oh my gosh, that needs to be a thing. A modern, like, gadget and tech hardware review channel where all the music is those cheesy 70s porn soundtracks. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a Kickstarter and do this. <laughs> the Kickstarter would be for like seven, like those seventies keyboards. I am currently using one. Of I those. know. Oh yeah, you've All been right. in my office. <laughs> yeah, that's good All right, starting stormy night. Glittering cats and dogs, bows everywhere. Uh, Sewer vampire was happy, very happy. Sewer vegetarians, however, were not. Um, that one. Sewer vegetarians, however, were not. This, the vampire readied himself with a big bloody steak. Hyphen S T E A K to spank the green weirdos with. They literally spelled the steak dash S dash T dash E dash A dash K. PETA was having a field day protesting, but the protests were cut short due to the amount of concussions inflicted by the falling slightly drank, dr drained. drained carcasses. <laughs> wow. Um, the skunk cabbages were looking wilted, and the sewer corn wasn't coming in like before, ever, ever since the diner stopped serving creamed corn. <laughs> That's just bizarre, I love it. <laughs> the, the rats argued on who would lead the pack away from the happy vampire. The clowns in the attic were ambivalent. Do sewers have attics? They shrugged and said, at least it's gluten free. <laughs> A war began. Peta versus Vita. Vampires eating tasty animals. <laughs> All right. So, go ahead and sure, free. Which one? Um, war began. Peta versus Vita. Who wants that one? Right, so one. Clowns in the attic. Ambivalent. Um, rats argued who would lead the pack away from the happy vampire. Uh, skunk cabbages, looking wilted. I'll yeah, go yeah. with that one. <laughs> Alright, so we got tie one to one. PETA was having a field day protesting with the protests were cut short. Nope. Um, which one's you have? Hey, gluten free? Was it the glu uh, they shrugged and said at least it's gluten free? Yeah, there we There's go. There's your winner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, front of the room, we can right on this one.
It was a dark and stormy night. It was literally learning cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere. The sewer vampire was happy. Very happy. The sewer vegetarians, however, were not. They shrugged and said, at least it is gluten-free. Y'all are weird, and I love it. This is... And it's just beginning. There, There is more. Yes. I'm afraid what's happening right now. You should be. Right? We're scheming. No, when, when the room just goes quiet like that, it's like, we're going to break their brains. <laughs> it means plumbing is happening. You, no. you should have expected that when sewer vampires happen. Right? And okay. sewer vegetarians happen. I gotta take the credit for the sewer vegetarians. Who did the sewer vampires? Me. <laughs> however, were not. They shrugged and said, at least it's it is gluten-free. Gluten-free. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> so, we continue with, this was indeed the day the magic died. <laughs> Some of the vegetarians debated whether the vampire was in fact causing any harm. Most of the cats and dogs were dead on impact. Who votes for day of magic died? Wait, wait, say it again. This was indeed the day the magic died. <laughs> oh, alright, that's the winner then. Apparently I didn't read it with more inflection. I should have learned that in my last panel. Alright, back of the room. You're going to continue the story with this. What? It wasn't in caps, wasn't it? I guess yeah, it, it was. In caps. It is in caps. I stand corrected. Is there a PS4? Yes, there's mine for Jackbox. Jackbox. I like how it's no. all in caps, but still ends with a period. No, it was. This was indeed the day that magic. Th the magic. Yeah, died. you got it wrong. Look, there were scribbles. Oh, it Fuck definitely off. said. It. <laughs> Fuck off, Dragon. <laughs> now.
have Anthro Ohio's from this year. Those are really, really useful. Do you remember the Ballad of Invented Paddles? Yes! <laughs> Don't battle the paddle! I'm gonna go with no. We had, we had a lot of people being very demented for that one. It was greatly enjoyable. Hey, Iggy. Oh, no. I'm too short for that. Or too tall for that. I remember oh, I had the punchline for that one. Don't battle the paddle. Um, paddle. Um, so, they shrugged and said, at least it is gluten-free. This was indeed the day the magic died. And... This unique weather event was caused by a grumpy Mrs. Stevens, hell-bent on getting vengeance for her rude garden. So they used voodoo to re resurrect Houdini. That's what it says. That's it. Probably says they, or no? I think that's what they're going for, but it says the. <laughs> this reminded the vegetarians moved to the sewer this reminded the vegetarians moved to the sewers. This wasn't the third great rain in a month. <laughs> what? Bye bye American Pie. <laughs> <laughs> the Magic Kingdom was painted red and Mickey, well, let's not talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the zombies came. <laughs> All right, who likes Bye Bye American Pie? Who likes the zombies game? Couple? Okay. Um, unique weather event? Nope. Uh, Reminded of the vegetarian move? The, the vegetarians move to the sewers? Nope. Magic Kingdom was painted uh, red and Mickey? No? Wait, wait, wait. Who wants that one? Raise your hands high. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, it's winning! It's winning! That's my second um, Yay. So the voodoo was used to resurrect Houdini? Got a couple on that. Got a couple all over, but I think uh, Magic Kingdom is the winner. Basically just half of the room. I caught him. I caught him. Um, front of the room. That's what I was going to say on right The room is up, and uh, Sarah, then you want to recap the story for us? Sure, can. Yeah. Hopefully, Dragger won't make it 10% back. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. It was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere. And the sewer vampire was happy. Very happy! The sewer vegetarians, however, were not. They shrugged and said, At least it is gluten free. This was indeed the day the music died. The Magic Kingdom was painted red and, or Magic died, and the Magic Kingdom was painted red, and Mickey, well, let's not talk about him. Alright. Uh, Speaking of song references. I gotta say, as an allergy and asthmatic person, watching all the particles fly in front of the beam of the projector is really distressing. <laughs> I feel like there's a greater concentration here than uh, in my clean room at home, where the outside cannot get to me. Here comes the sun. Boo -dee -boo -dee -dee. I think I got this. emerged a hero. Goofy... Somebody's got to fill me in on what that Wielding. Was. Wielding a machete. 
Decapitating Vampire and vegan -y what? Vegan-alike. Vegan-alike, gotcha. <laughs> This is, this is written as a uh, um, conversation. Girlfriend, colon, want to see a magic trick? Boyfriend, colon, sure. Girlfriend, bam, you're single. The magic is back. <laughs> Let's just say he misses Goofy. <coughs> this happens every year at Disney World. They clean it up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are some good ones. Damn. Because Mickey is very, 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 very dead. Jesus Christ, this is hard. Who votes for Mickey very dead? There were better ones than that. I'm just going to go through them quickly. Um, every every year at Disney World, they clean it up quickly. So what? All right. Um, the conversation between boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll concede that one. Have, now, so I would assume that there are two new lines in there. I would write that exactly as it is. All right. Um, the magic is back. <laughs> that was back of the room. So front of the room. You're up next. That was back of the room. No, that was fine. That was, that was front of the room. Yeah, Thank you. Back of the room. Europe. Not Europe, the band. No, you're actually up. It's your turn. <laughs> it was during a stormy night. It was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere, and the sewer vampire was happy, very happy. The sewer vegetarians, however, were not. They shrugged and said, "At least it is gluten free." This was indeed the day the magic died. The magic kingdom was painted red and Mickey. Well, let's not talk about him. Girlfriend, want to see a magic trick? Boyfriend, sure. Girlfriend, bam, you're single. The magic is back. Where the fuck did you come up with that? <laughs> I, love it. I believe that is the first time that we've actually had a new line character in. <laughs> I've had some others. Okay, I wasn't at, I wasn't at those. I think BLFC has done it to me two years in a row. Even like, like the emoji doesn't really count like that. I don't think. I mean, this was. A, I, don't I remember, remember I, I submitted just a smiley face. face. I, had a, <laughs> okay. I had, I had one. freaking poetry, like structured poems. Show. Don't give them ideas. <laughs> hey, I love haiku bot. Uh, I'm not fine with that. What? Like on Twitter? <laughs> yes. No, I read it. Anytime you type something in a oh, haiku, yeah, it tells yeah, yeah. you it's a haiku. It checks your it checks your syllables. I just love that haiku as a, as a poetry format is like taken from a language that you can say a lot more in the number of syllables that are used, and then it was put to English, and every like haiku rare, sucks. Yeah, basically every haiku is terrible. There's some really good ones. Some of them are quite funny. It's just the format just doesn't make sense in English. Increase the syllables. I've tried, yeah. But then if it's too wordy, then it's like you could have just written like a different style of poem and done more. It's just one of those that, you know, works when it works, and then every other time it just doesn't work and it falls real flat. That, when I did like creative writing stuff, that was like my most hated thing was haikus. I can never, I can never get how to do a haiku cor correctly. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. Oh. So you can see it's really hard to kind of tell a story and then say something meaningful about what you painted. So it kind of has to be like essentially a quotation but broken up to fit the format. Thank you. Oh, any more paper? I got more paper. I got plenty of paper. And we've got sketchbooks back here. Hey, Iggy. What? Oh, no. Oh, no! You know I finally watched an episode of BoJack Horseman? Which one? The first one, or...? No, it was just a what, comedy... No, you watched one that, like, I haven't even seen. Apparently it's a new one, or newer one. Yeah, it wasn't one of the... BoJack Horseman is a very interesting concept, I guess. Mm -hmm. I just like my thought it was really good. And now he has a BoJack Arkham Horror piece. Nice. 
You haven't seen that yet. I have That's not. That's amazing, and I need to show you it. Is he basically never allowed to die because that means his suffering ends? <laughs> well, that's the whole game no, of our No, he last time. Very true. Ah, oh, he got a sweet release. Okay. <coughs> I think Bojack might have been one of the... No, I was the only one who didn't die. And I don't know if the guy before me did survive either, because... I think there were two left at the end. Maybe three. I don't remember which ones were which. All right, so we have this whole conversation. Uh, girlfriend, bam, you're single. The magic is back. Insert sake here. <laughs> I mean, if here is my mouth, then I support this. <laughs> and with that, the magic was restored and the rain stopped. All the cats and dogs are restored to life and were taken in by the lovely OAR and respective canine charity. All was well in the kingdom. With newfound dating freedom, she looked to the sewer vampires as potential suitors. <laughs> the sun started to shine and the cats, cats plus dogs sprang back to life in a morbid display of fate's cruel joke. The boyfriend, well, former boyfriend, decided to end, to eat his sorrow away on the dead cats and dogs. Uh, what? Ew. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> the true magic was that Pauly Shore hasn't made a new movie and Kiss is still rocking the rolls all night. America! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So who votes for Kiss and Pauly Shore? Is that the America one? Yes. We got, we got three, four, okay. Who votes for the boyfriend, the former boyfriend? We're going to eat the cats and dogs. It's free. Okay. So, sun started to shine, cats and dogs sprang back to life. Cruel joke. Um, the one that involved the charity OAR and the canine. It was a really good one. Right, three. Um, with newfound dating freedom, she looked at the sewer vampires as potential suitors. <laughs> Got four there. And one left. Um, insert sake here. Okay, so I have to go back between these two, which was tied. It was tied. So, so when there's a tie, the longer answer wins. America! <laughs> uh, that was the back of the room, right? So the front of the room's up. Yay! Time check here, so I don't know how many lines we have left in the story. It's 1543, 1443. So there are two more lines in the story, and then we'll do the moral. So this submission, the next submission is going to end the story, and then we'll do one final round to submit what the moral of the story is. So you have two more responses to wrap up the story. Doctor Who, right? Yeah. So good. I'm so happy it's back. Did anyone else watch the new Doctor Who? I would be able to. Well, then I won't the first I won't episode I with, like, the first full episode of the season with the new Doctor just hit last weekend, and it is wonderful. I don't want to give any spoilers, though, but oh my gosh, we need to drink and nerd out on Doctor Who later. Like, if the. Yes. That's a band. We need to put, like, we need to just impromptu put in the schedule, we're going to drink and talk about the new Doctor Who episode this weekend, because I am deprived. No one else I know is, is caught up. Alkali is still several seasons. He's only, like, eight episodes in. I'm not caught up. All There's a, but at least it's not like Star Trek, where, like, going back is, like, like, like the, the, it's, it's episodical in the sense that it doesn't, um... The continuation between every episode isn't as important because they kind of just blow the fourth wall every every few episodes, anyways. Yeah, they, they but, but Capaldi's second season is the best season. The show has is one of the best the show has ever had. Yeah, including the, the old. Yeah, the, the BBC basically had a marathon the past like ten days of all of the. I don't think it went back to the like the, I think the 
first, I don't think they played all of them. They just played some of the black and white ones, but it was mostly like the 90s and 2000s. So it was, well, I the 90s was that god awful movie. <laughs> okay, it wasn't the movie. Paul that's McGann. Like... They actually brought him back. That was nice. They did some good stuff with him. I almost swore again. Hooray, I avoided it. Any others? Um, after about 11 o'clock tonight, three panel rooms will be open, so you might mark poker. Right. Whose line is from 10 to midnight, and then libation appreciation is from midnight to 1. I am screwed. Well, there is some panel rooms open at 9. I only have. Drag it show. Uh, I only have two answers, so here we go. Oh boy, you can read that one. What? What are you making? And the two nope. magic <laughs> 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 and Kiss is still rocking the rolls all night. America. They use true magic to stop the morbid rain and to provide <laughs> therapy to the vampire and sewer vegans. Or. Or. Read it. Are you making me read this? Read it. Read it. I'll make the person that wrote it read it. Yeah, sure. let's do that. Absolutely. I, I, I will be glad to read this. Read I'm what, not, what, what is your badge number for the front, camera? You read it. I'm not in this room right now. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Prolapsed anuses. Always making me vomit. Snow on Mount Fuji. <laughs> I would like to take this time to announce that this is an all-ages panel. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 Everything that was in that was a biological reference that. <laughs> Never mind. Who? Never mind. <laughs> so who votes for? That didn't happen. Never mind. Who votes for they use true magic to stop the morbid rain and provide therapy to the vampire and sewer vegans? <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Moving on. <laughs> oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it only those two? Yes. Oh, well, then that one. <laughs> yes, those are the only two. Are we voting yeah. for that one? Which is they use true magic to stop the morbid rain and provide therapy to the vampire and sewer vegans. First one. Who First votes one. for the other one? Can you read the other one again? No. 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 <laughs> There's staff in here. No. <laughs> Good. It's only got two votes. Put this one in the system. I like how my uh, notepad equivalent is the system. Hey, come back, sir. And what was that bit about staff in the room? Not here. This is Sarah's panel. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? It's Dragger's panel. No, this one's Ziggy's panel. Right. It is Ziggy's panel. So, uh, back to the room. Wrap up the story. It's the last line of the story. We gotta wrap up the story. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Cut it out. Okay, Dave Couillet. Cut. Cut. It. Out. Uh. I'm sure someone has remixed that. Probably. They've remixed every, like, 90s TV show. How'd you like the Too Many Cooks reference at Pyramid? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know Xander like showed that at one of his jobs. <laughs> what? The video? Why? Because they were showing goofy shit to stuff to each other. <laughs> and he just brought up Too Many Cooks? He put that on the company network share and they all showed it and then it's like, alright, yeah, so we have to have limits now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad! It's it was one of the artful things I've seen done. It was very artful, but that is not something you do in a work environment. What do you use? My office, I would. <laughs> that, that's called lunch. Um, all right, so all the pan or all the panelists and staff here. I'm very sorry I wrote that. Seen the story? Uh, <laughs> That's all right. Uh, actually, I didn't see the first. All right. I've only got three, so we got a good <laughs> hey, one. Iggy. Oh, I got four. Uh -oh. oh. Does it involve biological references? Good. No. Good. Has Sarah been like giving me the stink eye? His fur is brushed okay. in such a way where he's got like an angry eyebrow at me. <laughs> they use true magic to stop the morbid rain and provide therapy to the vampire and sewer vegans. Continue with. 
Then it started raining lizards, but that's a story <laughs> for another time. <laughs> Mickey, however, was beyond help. <laughs> the vampires and vegans reached an agreement. Colin, this sucks. <laughs> they join they join forces to right all the wrongs left. Like bad Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> In caps. The man must be stopped. Who votes for bad Adam Sandler movies? Who votes for vampires and vegan, vegans reach an agreement that it sucks? Alright, got a bunch there. Uh, Mickey was beyond help. Oh, I got a little bit more there. Um, then it started raining lizards. Yeah, I'll take that. If you like more than one, you can vote. I'm just looking for like a balance in the room. It looks like our winner was Mickey is beyond help. So now we have one more round. There's one more round. Anyone that would like to throw in a moral can throw in a moral. So I'll read the whole story with the way this works. The story is done. This is our story. I'm going to read out the story, but what you want to be thinking of here is we're going to have another line that's the moral of the story. Moral is what? That's for you to come up with. And so your story is, it was a dark and stormy night. It was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere. The sewer vampire was happy. Very happy. The sewer vegetarians, however, were not. They shrugged and said, at least it is gluten free. This was indeed the day the magic died. The Magic Kingdom was painted red in Mickey. Well, let's not talk about him. Girlfriend, want to see a magic trick? Boyfriend, sure. Girlfriend, bam, you're single. The magic is back. The true magic was that Pauly Shore hasn't made a new movie and Kiss is still rocking the rolls all night. America. They used true magic to stop the morbid rain and provide therapy to the vampire and sewer vegans. Mickey, however, was beyond help. And I kind of fall over because the sentence doesn't end. So, morals. Can we at least all agree that Adam Sandler has to be stopped? Yes. I got okay. one for you. Good. All right. It's kind of a stick. Oh, well. Is it everyone like to respond? Anyone that has a moral, go for it. We got a few minutes left. Did I? Anyone that has one, you can go for that. So will you post this on the Quick for Twitter? Eventually. Eventually. I have forgotten to log into terrible. that. I really am. I hope you remember the password. I hope you're not like Fur forgets the passwords to everything but the first square to come. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Hold on, I have one more. Right. Did we get a did we get an answer from the international friend? He wanted to play. I, uh, I got the Adam Sandler thing from him. Nice. Let's see. After my after the America line, he wrote, "But the danger is still out there." Adam Sandler keeps getting work. I just imagine at one point there will be an Adam Sandler movie That's where, really cool. where it's Adam Sandler playing Adam you Sandler in, in real life, real life but, but it, he's a villain, and his whole plot is to destroy the movie. <laughs> And then everyone must band together to... to you risk. think you can stop my movies? <laughs> I would do that for Michael Bay. Oh, Alright, so everyone's in, yes? Yeah? Everyone's in? Alright. Oh, you're ripping one? My brother sounds very similar to Winnie's. Oh, yeah. moment. I thought you were right. I just didn't want to miss it. airplanes. Alright, no, that's fine. Alright, so the moral of the story is... Okay, it's going to be hard to read. Um... It's raining cats and dogs. Go kill... When it's raining a, cats and dogs, go kill a Nazi's dream. dream. Alright. Don't forget your umbrella and Mickey should be kept away from kids. Reading <laughs> 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 the Mickey voice. Oh, sorry. Not reading the Mickey voice. Vampires and sewers are real threat. Always remember the magic in your heart. Oh, that part was me. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. Uh, moral. I got one. Black comedy will live forever. <laughs> I got one 
<laughs> Never trust an umbrella you didn't buy yourself. <laughs> Jack Black is the 2000s version of 90s Adam Sandler. <laughs> we have one from Britain. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, when it rains, cats and dogs always try to catch them with a net. All right, who votes for that one? <laughs> All right. The international guy vote. Uh, the moral no. of the story is uh, uh, the Jack Black in the 2000s is the 90s Adam Sandler. <laughs> All right. Uh, Black comedy live forever. Um, any of my enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, don't forget your umbrella. And Mickey should be kept away from kids. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's enough. That's enough. Give me that. go through the rest. <laughs> There's your moral. Sarah, then once he gets that in there, you can take us home and read the whole story for us. Oh. 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 Yeah. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's like all kinds of guys right there. Could you imagine, like, somebody making a Mickey Scooby Doo? Just getting sued by Hanna Barbera and Disney? <laughs> that court proceeding would be something. Is Hanna Barbera still in there? What about the Wicker Two? What about the Wicker Two? Oh! I think they still own the rights. Okay, so it might be Buena Vista. Alright. The story is. It was a dark and stormy night. It was literally raining cats and dogs. Blood was everywhere. And the sewer vampire was happy. Very happy! <laughs> the sewer vegetarians, however, were not. They shrugged and said, at least it is gluten free. This was indeed the day the magic died. The magic kingdom was painted red and Mickey, well, let's not talk about him. Girlfriend, want to see a magic trick? Boyfriend, sure. Girlfriend, bam, you're single. The magic is back. The true magic was that Polly Shore hasn't made a new movie and Kiss is still rocking the rolls all night. America! They used true magic to stop the morbid rain and provide therapy to the vampire and sewer vegans. Mickey, however, was beyond help. The moral of the story, don't forget your umbrella and Mickey should be kept away from kids. <laughs> the end. Okay! Yay! We did a thing. Something. But it's thing. Oh yeah, it should have been for a pen. Man, could buy back all my pens. Well, this was Scribbles and Bits, so we hope you all had fun. Yep. Yay! Hi, Miggy! That is Seraphin, and that is Dragger. Thank you very much for being part of this panel. Yay! Thank you very much to the audience. We couldn't have done it without you, literally. Literally. Coming up next is Jackbox Party Pack. In here? Yes. Seraphin is hosting Jackbox Party Pack in here. So if you want more communal silly games and you also have your cell phones working, this is hey, where you want to be. Hey, we're going to see my tacos. Ah, I'm going to see my tacos. Do I have all the pens? Can't wait for the pens. Thank you. Silver Gatoman, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gatoman, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver got your man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.